So if you ever want to check out to see what your Sindri team is doing to your champ, this is a quick way here. So you can click there. But I'm going to go to, you know, my top. So this is me, 1861, clicking on my profile. So if I go to the actual Star-Lord, you know, that's in the quest, you can see that he's at 2261 on the attack. And that's with my mastery also included. So if I want to change my uh, Sindri team, so that's how I got my longer uh, enrage time. Just got to get over 2,000, you know, the base PI. That's without your mastery, though. So if I change this out for another team, another mutant team. So that's a pretty good one there. Check him out again. So it's a little bit less there. So if you got the right Sindri team that you can put together, you can actually see, you know, what it's doing to your guy, which one is actually better for the attack. Or you can actually see your health go up if there's a health Sindri. So I'm going to check it out now with Storm. I'll replace Cyclops with Storm, which is pretty common. This one here used to be the most common, I'd say, for me at least. This team right here. I used to use this in Quest all the time. So check out my uh, my info again. So that one's a little bit less on attack though. So if you guys ever uh, you know wondering what your Century team does, it's a quick way to figure that out and see that you know if it's making a difference or which one's the best one. So time to try out my Drax in Alliance Quest. This is the first guy, uh, Iron Man, of my path, besides that Cosmic Sim. Definitely say this guy's pretty deadly. His kryptonite is the Mystic Dispersion, Champs in Alliance War, if you bring him in there. But in questing, I would say this guy is really deadly. Love to get a five star version of him duped. This guy, you know, he could definitely attack Mordo once he's stunned with his double slash attack. This guy won't go away though. 61 hits later, still holding on. There it is, that double hit for the finish. He's a monster.